get the snake out. You don't even know how to handle oh a reptile. Oh my god, bro. Mike, Mike, why are you just standing there? That was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Jay, you need someone to teach you how to handle reptiles. Dad! Today I'm going to give you tips how you can best handle your reptile, starting with picking the right reptile for you. Hi, Vlad. Wow! Okay. I can't, I can't do it. Oh my god, he moves so fast. Oh my god, I can't do it, guys. I'm, I'm so sorry, Vlad. I can't do it. That's obviously the wrong animal. Okay, Snazzy. Now this, this is a good pet for me. I don't want to get her. Can you get her out and put her in my hand? She's behind her web. I can't stick my hand on there. I don't like this at all. Mm. I can't do it. I give up. Now Tyson, Tyson's the perfect pet for me. <laughs> Freaking out. What are you going in there for? Don't get him out. No. I'm not handling that thing. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. What do you mean, go ahead? What do you mean, pick him up? He's got teeth that are sharper than sharp of that. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick him up. Why would I pick him up? He's a good boy. Nope. I'm not doing it. No way. <laughs> That's more my style. Look at that. It's in your hand. Claws that aren't gonna kill you. Might scratch you a little bit. Aren't gonna gash you. And then little teeth that even if he bit you, it wouldn't hurt that bad. No, would it? So important to pick out the right animal for you, not get the wrong one. Speaking of that, when you do get that right animal, handling with confidence is important. If you have the hesitation, that's where something goes wrong. As you see, Perdita, super nice. We're very confident with her. We know nothing's gonna happen. Trust one another together. When you just dive right in there, scoop them up, no fear. They sense that, man. It's like nature and the universe collide. And two species that were just one little cell that grew to become who we are are now collaborating on this friendship. That's deep. You go in there and you're really scared, like how I am with Vlad, wow! you never get anywhere. But if you just go in with confidence, see? The animal trusts you. I trust the animal. Best friends for life. Make sure to always break your snake's food response. Whoa! You that's see that? Food. That's a food response. Yeah, that. food that's actually a food that response. Is. Oh, no, he's looking at Avoid the head. Get go it. for it, Jay. Get go it. Go for it. Go, 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 go. 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 Okay. A little bit more. Better than that. You gotta get him running. Running. Ah, I can't do it. Mike, Whoa. Mike. Don't push Mike. Mike. Somebody get the no! Somebody get the snake out. Let's go back. Okay. Get him! Go. Get him! Go! Go! go. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that Look perfect. at that. Look. Nobody got Look bit. Look at that. Nobody got eaten. <laughs> Broke Good job, it. guys. We tamed the beast. Yeah, you did so much today. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. When you have a snake like butterscotch that has an extremely heavy food response, basically you can use a snake hook just like this, just to get her moving away. So right now she's thinking she's gonna get bit. Oh! 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 So once you actually get it broken, it realizes it's not getting fed, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. And you don't want to be holding the camera anywhere near it. I got it! I got it! Mike, let me see yours. I got it! I got it. Here, Mike, take mine. Take it. I got it. Never ever hold a reptile by the head. Even if you're afraid of it, it's the worst thing you need to do is to grab him by the head or restrain him because as soon as you restrain him, you break all trust. And once you break that trust, it becomes a hard animal to handle. The only exception to this is if you're doing a medical procedure or in this case, milking venom. Something like that, you have no choice but to neck an animal, but that should only be done by a professional or a vet. There's just Pretty so awesome. many options. Press the kind of bread that you want and then you press what you want on top okay. and then if you want to toast it or not. They can do Good job, Subway? Yeah. Okay. You want Subway or? Yeah, if you're ordering. <laughs> about to go get some. About to go get some DoorDash. Big Mike in the house. Is this Subway? Yep. Yeah, Subway. Thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you. Like like reptile? That's the anaconda. Is it really? yeah. You can see the big one. Come over here. You can see her a little better. Oh, just come right here. If you come over here, you can see her a little better. If you, if you come this side, you can see her really good. You can see her good from this side right here. If you want to come right here, you can really see her. She's big. She's super big. You can really see from this side like how large she is. That's just tiny. The loaded gun theory. Get to know your new animal slowly. But once you get to know it, handle it as much as you can as long as the reptile is not being stressed out. I'll hold your snake if you hold mine. And then have your friends handle it as well. Oh man, it's just a big old share time. When you first get your snake, treat it like a loaded gun. Until you completely are confident in understanding its behavior, you never know what's gonna happen. Always wash your hands before and after you handle a reptile. Food's here! Food. Should we wash your hands? No way. I'm so hungry. Oh my, it's gonna be so good. Look at this. Mm. Oh. Anybody got some napkins? That's just gross. Just wash your hands. You guys can stop now. All right, here now.
so good. Always try to buy a captive bred animal. Captive bred animals are gonna be your best pet for sure. But isn't wild caught better for the gene pool? There's no doubt that there are times where wild caught animals do increase gene pool and when you're a breeder, you sometimes wanna add new gene pool in. Typically you can do that through captive breeding. But then there are times like with Frosty, the white monitor, where you have no choice. This was actually a wild caught baby that was kept in captivity for a handful of years. Meaning that really long term wild caught's way better. If you know, he was just a wild animal, he probably wouldn't be very habituated to us. The fact that he was a wild baby and actually got habituated in captivity, meaning a long-term captive wild-caught animal made him so much better than an actual wild animal. But when you have a new gene like my guy Frosty here, sometimes you have no choice but to work with a wild animal. Buy the right reptile for you. I got my spirit animal, guys. Yeah. That's perfect. What's that supposed to be? That's your spirit animal. It's definitely my spirit animal. See all this energy? See all this melanin? <laughs> <laughs> Billy's my spirit animal because look at his inquisitive nature. Very inquisitive. Threat display. Defense mechanism. <laughs> but I like to call it drip. We both got drip. <laughs> Retro fours. <laughs> now switch. Uh, this just doesn't feel right, guys. Something's not. Can someone right. get it? Yeah. Can you get it off? Take it. You take it. Oh! oh! Whenever you're handling your reptile, make sure it's supported so it feels safe. If it feels safe, there's no defensive nature to it. So make sure that everything is always supported. Oh, she's rubbing on my sunburn. Support. Ow, that hurts. Sunburn. I got sunburn over the weekend. I did. <laughs> you can do anything you, you want. You want to be a Burmese python? You do that. You don't yeah, you want to be a huge snake one day, 30 feet? Get be there. You don't need bow ties. Like, are you facing face. me? Yeah. Don't touch me. <laughs> this is already very awkward, and we're think? we're about to be really squeezed by this. Mike, Mike, help! Oh, no, we warned. Is him. she going in or help? Help! Oh no. no! Come on, guys! I'm messing up the taco, Jays. We warned you what was gonna happen. You can do it. This is not supporting. Remember, snakes are ectothermic, meaning that they're cold-blooded. So if you're cold, like Jay here, the animal is cold. So if you take it out and you need a hoodie and a hat, probably don't keep it out for very long. Short periods of handling. On the opposite side. If you're outside and you're sweating like Mike is right here, remember your reptile is really hot too. So you don't want to keep your reptile out for long periods of time in the heat. Short periods of time, or it could be trouble. Educate yourself before buying your pet reptile. Yes, sir. How much is it? it is three hundred seventy-five dollars. Yes, sir. Where do I get it from? You can buy it from me right now if you got the cash. How big does it get? This is about four or five feet. Hey, sir. Do I feed it gerbils? No, you feed it pizza rolls. Actually, mm -hmm. this is a uh, actually known as a pizza roll snake. Yes, sir. Do we get pepperoni pizza rolls? Pepperoni or meat lovers, whatever you prefer. I mean, he prefers meat lovers, but if you only got pepperoni, yeah, yeah. Will we'll it come. sleep with me? It will sleep with you. It likes to cuddle up in your nostril system. What, what, what? Can I get through a sentence? What's up? Dude? Does it bite? Yeah, it can bite. It's got like three thousand oh. teeth. What's up? Where does the poop come from? The poop comes from the butthole. Oh, yeah. Is it venomous? Of course, it's venomous. All snakes are venomous. Hey, is it gonna change colors? Yeah, it's gonna change the color. Get a little gray, get a little blue, get a little purple. Yeah, what's up? How big of a cage do I need? At least 37 feet for this four inch room. Hey, can I get four of those? Yeah, put them all in the same cage for me. I don't care. Always pay attention to your surroundings. Snakes and lizards love to wrap around things, and it can sometimes be hard to get them away. Hey man, that's a really nice snake you got right there. When did yeah, you get it? So uh, I've had it for about six years. Six years? Yeah. Six years. Yeah. Six of them? That's a big snake for six. What is that, a California king snake? Oh, uh, no, it's actually a Mexican black king snake. Mexican black? Oh, yeah. I thought they got a little bigger than that by six years. And they were also black. Yeah, that is a good I mean, point. You don't I see that she's black? Oh, could you, uh, could you could you hold me actually? I just what's I wasn't really paying attention. Anymore. Oh, Tingle! Oh, Lanta! I didn't even notice, man. I wasn't paying attention either. I think we should call somebody. Who are we gonna call? The sun fire. It was an accident. Who let her out? No. My dad. What happened here, Beth? Uh, they said you let her out. Beth, why did you do this? <laughs> Don't know why. Now fix it. Yeah, we have to put the snake back. Yeah, Mike, you gotta clean it because we gotta put some It's light. a two-man job. All reptiles are not equal. Even the same species, the same morph, everything can be radically different. Take, for instance, Perdita here is a retic. Neo is a retic, just as sweet as Perdita. Yeah. Night Fury is a retic, a little more challenging. Butterscotch is a retic, and we know she can be challenging. And you guys all know about the antics of Lucy, the reticulated python. Think like a reptile. Remember that they have instinct. With these guys handling cupcake and bread loaf, the Dumeril's ball, you can see they love to hang on, right? So you have to think like them. They're not trying to choke you. They're just trying to hang on. If they think they're going to fall, they're going to tighten up. And if you think like a reptile and realize that they're tightening up just to hold on, you aren't worried about them trying to kill you. Just hang on. You okay, Mike? Yeah. Handle your reptiles to what they allow. Some reptiles, like Sunrise, you could probably handle three or four hours a day and she'd be completely fine with it. Other reptiles, only maybe three or four hours a week. Some reptiles, not at all. If you have your reptile out and they start to seem a little stressed out 
or they stop feeding, that means you're probably overhandling it. Which brings me to my next tip, which is desensitization. The more you actually handle your reptiles, the more it's gonna be desensitized to being handled. Take for instance, Sunrise here, if you can pat her head and everything like that, there's a lot of snakes that don't like to be petted on the head or lizards that don't like to be touched on the tail. You have to know your reptile and you can slowly desensitize them to where they actually will allow you to touch them anywhere. Know where to touch your reptiles. But over time, if you work with them, they actually will desensitize. But knowing your reptile and knowing where you don't want to touch it will help you bond a really good relationship. Scratch it, food. Not everybody likes your butt touch. Oh, his hemi beans are popping out. Oh, he, he likes that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Always make sure you supervise children when they're handling reptiles. Hey, kids. Hey, kids. Hey. Be very gentle. Can I hold it? Oh, is a monkey? Can I hold it? 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 When petting your snake, always make sure you pet from head to tail, not the reverse, because obviously the scales go in a certain way, so it's important to pet along with the scales so that you don't hurt the scales. Wow, this is a big snake. Mike, you gotta take out tarantula. Uh-uh. We can't. No, it's all right. No, it's, it's been a long. That's all right. I don't think so. See, so you're not bad at footing right, right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you go in the cage like a little, <laughs> why does everybody keep looking at me? Oh, you didn't hear about it? Keys. I got. I want some real life action, some near death experience. What is that, man? As soon as he opens the door, he's gonna. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I got mine. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my god, Seth! I'm not ruining my sandwich, dude. dude. We'll get you another one, dude. No. I'll do it. I know you'll do it. That's who was gonna do it anyway. Hell yeah, you got a good one. Why is this so diarrhea? Hey, stop, stop. Oh, I'm sorry. It's good. Oh, that's Mikey's. Yeah. Whoa! It breathes in my Dude, ear. Money, money don't the jiggle jiggle. Yeah. It yeah. Yeah. I like the way you wiggle wiggle. For sure. <laughs> okay. A little more. Wait, stop! Just stop. You need big drops so it looks like sweat. Just relax. Yeah. Okay. I've never had right. sweat going in before. Three, two. I hope that you guys got something out of these tips. Speaking of out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, are you calling HR on me? I really can't have any more complaints.